Hi, this is Matt from Firewalls.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a basic firewall policy. A customized firewall rule is often required to allow access or apply slash exclude security scanning on a specific network or device. With the use of firewall policies, we can control access between networks and zones. Let's jump into the firewall and take a look. So the first thing that we need to do is create a address object. This object will be the IP address of the machine that we want this to be applied to. So I'm going to go to policy and objects and then click on addresses. I'm going to click on create new and then address. I'm going to set the name to this is going to be a POS system so I'm going to set the name to that. Here we specify the IP range or subnet or FQDN of the source address that we're going to be using. In this case I'm going to use a subnet Since it's just one IP, um, it's going to be a slash 32 subnet mask. I'm going to assign this to the interface that it sits on, so this will be the internal. I'm going to go on OK. Next, I'm going to create a service object. Here we can create a custom TCP port to apply this to in the firewall rule. Here I'm going to call this TCP port 501, for example. I'm going to set the destination port here to 501. You can categorize this if you need to, if you know what the service correlates to. For this I'm just going to click on OK. Now I'm going to add these two objects to a firewall rule. I'm going to click on IPv4 policy. I'm going to click on create new. The name I'm going to call POS security rule. The incoming interface will be the internal, this is where the, the traffic will be coming from. The outgoing interface will be where this traffic is going to be sent to as a destination. The source, we're going to select our address object that we just created which is POS system. Destination will be any. And the service will be our service object that we also created so I'm going to search for that and select that here. I'm going to click on accept. We want to net this so that it uses the outgoing public IP address on the outside to reach the internet. And we want this locked down, so I'm going to enable the antivirus, the web filter, enable app control, and IPS. We'll go through these security profiles in more depth in a later video and how you can customize these. For now, I'm just going to enable this policy and enable login and click on OK. We want to reorder this rule so it sits up above the current outbound any rule. The firewall rules work in a logical order, so top down. So if it hits this rule first, this is what it will be applied to. If this rule doesn't apply, then all traffic will hit the rule below. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to our channel for further video tutorials and make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful. For all things firewall related, visit us at firewalls.com.